Welcome to the Cutting Edge Health Podcast. I'm Jane Rogers. If you can slow your rate of aging, you can slow your chance of getting age-related diseases like cognitive decline. My guest today is an expert at this as the former chief wellness doc at the Cleveland Clinic and author of four New York Times bestsellers, Dr. Michael Roizen has written a new book called The Great Age Reboot, and there's also a corresponding app for your phone called Reboot Your Age. This guy is passionate about 90 being the new 40 and getting all of us there with him. You are a genetic engineer. What I mean by that is when you do stress management or when you do physical activity, you change which of the genes are on or not in your cells. Let me give you the example. So when I do physical activity, I'm on a treadmill now. Um, I'm not using it because I think it uh, is diverting, if you will. But I'm on a treadmill, and I normally work on a treadmill desk and to get my steps. And when I stress a muscle, I turn on a gene in that muscle that makes a small protein called arisen. Arisen goes to your brain and releases brain-derived neurotrophic growth factor, essentially, um, if you will, it's, it's fertilizer for your hippocampus or it's miracle grow for your brain. And that means you're much less likely to develop dementia or other problems relating to cognitive dysfunction. There are four areas of physical activity that yes. make a difference to how long and well you live. Um, and one of those is doing cardiac activity that's um, if you will, what's commonly called cardio or aerobic activity for 20 minutes, three times a week at 85% of your age adjusted maximum heart rate, which is 220 minus your age for men. It's about the same for women. It's a little off for women, but 220 minus your age works pretty well for your max. So if you're 50, 220 minus 50 is 170. 10% of that is 17, so 153. And take another eight for the 5%. So you want to be at 145 beats per minute or more for that uh, uh, 20 minutes. Do things you love that love you back. So I love walking and I love playing ping pong. And so I do those um, as my general activity and getting uh, my... Uh, 10,000 steps or more per day. Resistance activity is about 20 minutes a week um, with getting your core muscle groups. It isn't doing bicep curls, it's your core. So it's bent over back rows and lunges and squats, um, getting out of a chair without using your hands, et cetera, mm -hmm. push-ups or pull-ups. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then the fourth is jumping on a hard surface. Simple, 40 jumps. Why? Because it's the only thing we know that keeps, I'll do three or four of them. It's the only <laughs> thing we know that keeps your um, discs lubricated and builds bone in your hips. So my job is to try and help people understand how much control they have over how long and well they live and to motivate them to do it. <laughs>